The first time I heard these promises, I was shaken to my core because I'd never understood the big overarching narrative of the Bible. I'd never had somebody say, these are the moments that God entered history. You see, we see God's faithfulness, His steadfast love through His covenant to Abraham, that He was patient with them, that He did not remove His covenant even when Abraham failed because He knew what He was going to do. Believers are not just defined by their gathering and their church going and how many consecutive days they open up their Bible app. It is a standard of holiness that is not relative, it's not trending, it's not driven by culture. It has been set by a covenant-keeping God. And the new covenant of grace does not erase the standard of God's holiness. It is unthinkable that God, who is holy other, would ever build some kind of agreement with us. If that doesn't make you like and love and fall down before this God, I don't know what else would. He is a God who continues to give promises even when we fail. And His promises not only speak to our current problems, they speak to problems that have yet to occur. That's just how good God is. What is it for you? What longing do you have? What promise do you want to see fulfilled that you have yet to see? Would you trust Him with it? We do believe that He is who He says He is and He will do what He says He will do. He will fulfill His covenant. He will fulfill His promise. He will not disappoint. What we're going to study here, it's going to transform you. It's gonna first transform your understanding of God, His grace, His power, His control, His, His plan. But it's also going to change you. These are the moments in this book that, that everything stops. And we hear the voice of God and we hear the promises of God and He says, this is my plan and I'm going to unfold it through you and for you.